and he should have never been on the streets. That is what Detroit Police Chief James Craig is saying about the suspected serial killer accused of six murders. This afternoon, we are learning a lot more about Kenyel Brown's past. Nick Monticelli takes a closer look. Good afternoon. Yes, some new details should be coming very shortly on this case, but the bottom line is this alleged serial killer was in federal custody, had a whole list of parole violations while he was out on a charge, and now an agency allegedly is the one who told the Department of Justice to let him back out. He saw him, and then, you know, he came out from in the back, pulled up the guy's picture on his phone, showed the clerk that was working, and said, hey, look, I really think this is who this is. A janitor working at an adult bookstore Monday spotted the man wanted by the U.S. Marshals and Detroit police. Police have linked Kenyell Brown to six murders in River Rouge, Highland Park, and Detroit. They spotted Brown jumping fences, and only local four cameras were there as officers swarmed a backyard and captured Brown moments after he shot himself in the head. But now we're learning Brown has a criminal history dating back to 1997 and should have been in prison, but a federal law enforcement agency asked he be let out. That history includes assault with a dangerous weapon, fleeing police officers, and multiple weapons charges. During his last arrest in 2014 for having a stolen 9mm handgun, he told police, I didn't even fire the gun. The only reason I have the mag is because it's crazy out here. During his sentencing, it came out Brown was working as an informant. After serving 14 months, Brown was let out, but he failed drug tests, didn't check in with drug counselors, and was arrested for drunk driving while on probation. But he was let go. The Detroit News quoting a U.S. District Court spokesman saying, Our court released Mr. Brown at the behest of a federal law enforcement agency. We cannot elaborate further at this time. Detroit Police Chief James Craig told the newspaper, someone needs to explain to the families of Brown's victims why this guy was allowed to stay out of prison. I understand the need for informants, but was the information he provided worth six lives? Now, as far as a medical condition on him, the last time we checked, even though he shot himself in the head, he was still in critical condition. I'm Nick Monticelli, Local 4.